Hi guys. Hi guys, as you can see, blue hat, still can't find my red hat. And I've come down to my my local place again, the boats, and um, I think high tide's in about 25 minutes. And it's meant to be pouring down with rain and a bit thundery again, so I thought I'd just nip down. Twins are in bed. Um, so I thought I'd come down and do five or ten minutes of a vlog and see what we can get. Um, let's see how we get on, eh? So this is where I am at the moment and as you can see the water is just kind of getting a little bit choppy and it's adding a bit of um, bit of interest really to be fair. What I'll do is in a minute I'll spin the camera around or I'll just, I'm, I'm just handheld this at the moment, my video camera. Um, I've got the tripod set up there, I've got the bag, and uh, little mind shift gear hive, they're really good those. Now the shot I'm going to go for, you can just see here. Um, I've been, I've done this shot before, but what I'm trying to see in the distance, if I just lift the camera up, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn the exposure down a little bit, or right down, and what you can see there is, there's, there's a bit of moodiness in them clouds, a bit up there, we turn round to the bit, that's where the kind of sun set, but we're not aiming there, and what, what, what the plan was, I wanted, I kind of wanted a lot of rain, a lot, a lot of rain really, but just out at sea, so you couldn't see the horizon, because uh, removing horizons is not one of my good things, and uh, I'd actually like to achieve it in camera if that makes any sense. Um, I've took a shot before, a little bit lower down, that looks quite nice with this grass, and if you just move the camera around a little bit and turn the exposure up, as you can see, it's starting to get a little bit boggy here where I am to be honest, but we'll be alright, I've been here a million times. But I like the way that this grass here just leads you out in that boat in the distance. And over there again, just turn the exposure down. Not too sure if you can see it or not, but Southport. Those are the other boats that we talked about. But no, this is a shot I'm going to go for tonight. I'm going to try and get a few tonight. Um, we're just different conditions, but like I say, just above that boat there, looks pretty epic. And I'll just stand back up again quickly. And what I'm using, I'll just turn the exposure up. I've got there on the back, of the camera, I've got the um, Format High Tech um, full sy system with the 82 82mm thread. Got the circular polarizer. I'm using a 0 0.6 soft egg grad. I've got the t got the polarizer on, like I say, just to uh, just to reduce a bit of the glare. To be fair, get rid of that. And um, at the moment, the settings I can't show you at the moment, but the settings are I'm at f14. I'm at ISO 64. And um, yeah, I'm going for about three or four seconds exposure. Before I was doing half a second exposures and they look quite nice. Um, but now, um, I'm just a bit of trial and error really, to be honest. As you can see over towards Bolton, that way, turn the clouds down again. There's quite a bit of definition in the clouds, if you will, but they just don't seem to be, as usual, don't where we want them. But we'll have a go. What I'm gonna do tonight is I'm gonna take a series of images and um, post all the images at the end, I think. I'll try and do it that way. But yeah, so the polarizer um, helps. And if I just turn the, just turn this on, I'm not too sure if you can see it really, but I'll just lift up the filter. If I lift up the filter, it just helps to, just helps control these, the clouds. You can just, not too sure if you can see that or not. Um, 
it just helps control the clouds and give a bit more definition and at the moment I'll take another shot and see how we get on but what I'm going to do tonight is just keep um, just move around to left to right if you can just quickly see that um, not too sure if you can see that or not Uh, it's gone off again but anyway so what I'm going to do I'm going to post all the images later on so what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk around just around this little way a bit and see if we can get another shot over there if I turn the focus in this is manual focus you see uh, there we go I'm going to walk over to that way now and try and get another shot there and if you just look if you can just look up there there's some beautiful colours coming just turn that down a little bit but I don't think there'll be much more than that to be honest Yeah, so that's the subject, and as you can see, just turn the exposure up again. I've got the camera there set up. I'm, I'm just going to walk over this muddy and this swamp here. <laughs> what I'm doing is I'm just using this crack as a leading line up to this boat. But look at that up there! Look at all that beautiful colours. Just unfortunate. It's just on the wrong side of where I'm pointing my camera. Um, so I walk round, and like I say. On a good day, all this crack here would be full of, well, this, this mud, it's got these beautiful cracks in where the, the mud's left behind and the tide's gone out. It's all dry. I'll just kind of show you here all these cracks. And you can, you can use this as a leading line up to the boat, but I think, just in front of the camera, I think it's a bit wet and boggy at the moment, but, uh, so it's not making as good as it, what it normally do. But what I'm going to do is, like I say, keep taking shots, and then we're going to post a load of images at the end. Um, I just wish some of this, some of these beautiful colours would come round. Um, look, I just turned the camera down. I wish some of these beautiful cam colours would come round. Anyway, let's crack on. Hi right, guys, so there's the camera set up. There's the boat. I've just gone back to my phone now, see if it picks up a bit better. But look at that sunset over there. I've just put my other camera in the bag because it's actually starting to rain now. I don't mind getting the phone wet, but um, I don't want the video camera. Um, getting too wet. The Z7's is okay. Um, the Z6 is all right, but um, like I say, you just got to be careful. To be honest, um, there's a the boat, and like I was just saying a moment ago, that's that like um, just this crack here that leads out. It looks really nice. And if I just spin the camera around, you can see these cracks in the in the mud, in the marsh mud, and um, it's quite boggy here, but you're okay. Um, so, but it makes a really good foreground. Got the tripod set up there. Yeah. So I think I'll take a few more images and then we'll um, I'll post them in a bit. So this is going to be the last shot, I think. And what I've done with this shot is I've moved forward and you can see there's hardly any grass in front of me there. And I've got rid of all the foreground and the boat in the distance there. I'm just going to take one shot, same settings really. Um, just move back a little bit so you can see a bit better. Yeah, same settings, F11. I'm at ISO 64. And because the light's dropped a little bit now, I'm going to 10 seconds. Um, this one looks quite nice because, like, like I say, there's a little bit more moodiness in those clouds, and um, we'll see how they look. Well, this is the last shot I'm going to take.
Hi guys, I really hope you enjoyed this vlog and I really hope you enjoyed the images I've just posted. Um, I think it was about six or seven, I'm not too sure, 100%, but as you can see, the, um, the light's really gone now. Um, it's still raining a little bit. Um, all the moodiness is kind of over there. Um, there's no, not much of a sunset going on. I was hoping for some rain, I was hoping for some thunderclouds. For the first time in about six weeks, you can just about make out Winter Hill. Um, it's really clear now, um, like the storm seems to have passed. Um, so all in all, um, the weather conditions aren't the best, but you know what? Like I say, and I keep saying, you've got to keep going out, you've got to keep going out, keep practicing, keep trying, and just enjoying yourself. I've really enjoyed it tonight. I hope you've enjoyed the, the images, like I say. Um, and thank you for the likes and comments on the previous vlogs. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to press the bell on subscribe. And uh, yeah, until next time, take care.